Hi there, it's Laura from Twinkle. Bonfire night is always such a fun time of year for children. Why not use this fireworks in a jar experiment to have some bonfire night themed fun with your children? It uses materials that you will have around the house and is a great way to inspire budding young scientists. Watch the colours swirl and dance like fireworks. Let's have a look at what you're going to need for this fun and fabulous firework in a jar experiment. You will need warm water, a large glass jar, liquid food colourings, your choice of colours, vegetable oil, a tablespoon and a smaller glass jar, bowl or drinking glass. We also recommend that you all wear an apron or old clothes and tie long hair back. Protect your surface with a wipeable cloth or old newspaper, you know, just in case. Firstly, fill your large glass jar or drinking glass with three quarters full of warm water. A mason jar works really well here. In your small glass jar, bowl or drinking glass, add four tablespoons of vegetable oil. Next, add three to four drops of each colour of food colouring you are using. We recommend four. Then, if each colour forms a large ball, use a fork or spoon to break them up into smaller droplets. Slowly pour the oil and food colouring on top of the water and watch the jar carefully to see what happens. You could set up several jars each with different colour combinations or one colour per jar. Or you could try using cold water and see how this affects the results. Why not try adding an erivescent tablet and see how the fizzing affects the results? So where's the science? Well, this experiment explores something called liquid density, which involves a little bit of chemistry and physics. You could discuss with your children about what they observed during the activity. Did they notice that oil and water don't mix? Could they give reasons as to why this might be? Liquids can have different densities. Density is all about how packed together the particles are. Water is heavier than oil, so the water sinks to the bottom and the oil floats to the top. The food colouring is heavier than the oil. It doesn't dissolve in oil, but it does in water. And this is why we get droplets in the oil. However, when we combine the oil and food colouring with the water, the heavier food colouring sinks down through the oil and when it hits the water, it dissolves. This is where the exploding appearance comes from. Well, that's all for today. I really hope that you and your family have enjoyed the fireworks in a jar experiment. Remember to stay safe this bonfire night and until next time, bye for now.